Future Jesse here coming at you from the end of the readathon, but I had a question that I really wanted posed at the beginning of this video. So with these reading vlogs, I typically don't watch a whole lot of them because they just don't interest me as much as some other videos do, but I know a lot of people who love reading vlogs. So my question for you is, what do you love about reading vlogs? What is the content inside of a vlog that really in interests you and engages you? Do you want to see slice of life type of footage where you're seeing just daily life and everything that goes on in that? Do you want to see actual like real time reactions to the books that you're reading? Like what is it about reading vlogs that you love? Please leave your comments down below because I'm really looking to do more reading vlogs in the future, but I don't want them to be boring and I don't want them to not be what you guys want to see. So tell me what you like in them. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and start my readathon. Good morning. It is January 21st and I'm going to be attempting an experiment. So I've seen these 24 hour readathons going around booktube and when I originally saw those, I thought it was 24 hours of straight reading, nothing else. And that's not quite the case. It's still like you sleep and you go about your daily lives, but you also just add as much possible reading as you can within those 24 hours, which sounded a lot more reasonable. So since that's the case, I'm going to try to bump it up and do 48 hours of as much possible reading as I can over these next two days. So I do work. I do have to work the, these two full days, um, but I work from home. So that cuts off a commute. Um, and hopefully during my lunch break, I can read and all that. So I'm going to take you guys on this journey as I try to read as much as I possibly can while also living my life. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started with this video. Ready to go outside? should actually talk about the book that I'm trying to finish in this 48 hour readathon first. And that is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I am a little over halfway now, so I can definitely do it. And it reads super quick. Like there's so much space on the pages and like the font is huge. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I started the audiobook for this one and just could not get into it, but then when I started physically reading it, totally clicked, so I'm going to continue to physically read this, and the audiobook that I'm going to continue on with that I've started is the Muse of Nightmares audiobook. That one's really good so far, um, and I'm following it a lot better, so... I am going to have an audiobook on while I work for the majority of the day, and I'm also going to try to read this Savage Song as much as I can in between working and everything else, um, so I'll keep you guys updated. <music> from taking my dog to the dog park and I was listening to the Muse of Nightmares audiobook uh, the whole time and so I'm now on around page 200 and 
I'm starting to really like it. I feel so bad for Minya. Um, golly, the scene I just read. Wow, that is it. It's sad. But uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually really liking it now. It's picked up, it's gotten less repetitive. We're kind of moving on to new plot um, that's not just like a recap of the last book. So I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, I'm really liking Sarai. Um, Laszlo hasn't been too involved yet. It's really been more of like Nina and Sarai's book so far, but I'm, I'm excited to keep going. This is, this is good. So yay. I'm glad I'm starting to like it now. Okay. I have finally finished work. I had a yogurt as a snack and I took my dog to the dog park and I finished painting the wall I wanted to paint in the office. So now I can finally sit down and actually read in this readathon. And I'm so excited to do it. So I have this Savage Song right next to me. I'm hoping to finish this up tonight. And then once I finish that, finishing up Muse of Nightmares, which I think I'm a little less than halfway finished with after listening to the audiobook most of the day. And then if I can finish these two books, I'm going to start American Dirt by Janine Cummins. So I am very excited for tonight to see how far I can get in these and to just relax, light some candles, maybe have a bath. <sighs> so excited. pages of this savage song and I really really like this book. Um, this follows two characters Kate and August uh, that live in this it's our world but it's like in the future and it's very very different it almost feels like a fantasy world and there are these three breeds of monsters that live in this world that all are born from horrific events so one breed of monsters born from murders. Another breed is born from like massacres, like just horrible things. So these monsters kind of roam the streets and Kate's uh, character, she is the daughter of this like really bad dude who is kind of like this gang leader in the city who has monsters working for him. So she like wants to be like him and wants to be this like monstrous character. And then August is actually one of the breed of monsters, but he looks human and he just wants to be human so bad. So you've got these two characters who are opposites and think totally differently. Um, one is a monster not wanting to be, one is not a monster but wants to be. It's so good and I just love Victoria Schwab's world building always. She always has such clever ideas that she just makes into these really cool worlds that are so unique and so her. Um, she does it with all of her series. So I just love the concept of how these monsters are created and how they, the humans have to live with them and just, just really cool world building that's happening. And I'm really liking the characters. Once again, Victoria Schwab always creates some of my favorite characters. And while I don't think that these are quite as flushed out as some of her adult series characters. This is still like a really strong beginning and I'm excited to read the sequel. I haven't even finished this one and I'm already excited for the sequel. So yes, I really, really like this one. I can't wait to see how it wraps up. And I'm definitely like, this is my first Victoria Schwab book that's not adult and I'm into it. I'm into it. So Yay! I'm so glad I'm liking this. I was really hoping I would because I just love her.
She's so great. I'm going to make some dinner. Um, I'm going to make like a chicken sausage, Brussels sprout recipe that I really like and listen to, uh, I can't decide if I wanna listen to like the end of this savage song or continue listening to music. I'm gonna listen to Muse of Nightmares because I wanna physically read the end of this savage song. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is this is like so hard for me. This is like my first official like reading vlog and I feel like I don't know how to do it. Um, so I'm so sorry if this is like stupid <laughs> because I watch reading vlogs to try and like figure out how to film them and I just, I feel like I just don't know how to do it. So hopefully this is what you'd expect. I don't know, I don't know, so. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. got done with my bath slash shower and dried my hair and listened to Muse of Nightmares. So I'm now about 250 pages into that audiobook and I'm liking it. I wonder what the whole deal with Cora and Nova is going to be. That's very intriguing. Um, so I'm going to keep going with this savage song now and hopefully finish it. And I will get back to you all once that has happened. I did it. I finished the Savage song. And I really, really liked it, you guys. It was really good. <laughs> um, I love Kate and August. And I love the world and the creatures. Um, I, I wish it was longer, which is a good thing. I, I just wish it had been more flushed out. Like, I wanted more character development. I wanted more world building. I wanted more politics. And, you know, I know this is young adult for Victoria Schwab, so it's going to read differently than her adult stuff. But, man, I just wanted more. And so I can't give it a full five stars because I thought that there was still so much left to be explored and developed that we just didn't really get to see. Um, so I am going to give it a four stars, I think, but I still really, really enjoyed this one. And I'm so excited to start our dark duet because maybe that will make this series a, a higher rated series. Right, Jamie? It, yeah. Yeah. Um, because maybe we'll get more of that development that I'm looking for. So Super excited that I really liked this one. Definitely recommend. And now it is time to get a snack and maybe a tea and start. I, I already started this, this book. I've already started and finish Muse of Nightmares. Maybe. I don't know if I'll be able to actually finish this tonight. I'm about halfway through um, because I think this one's a little bit chunkier of a read, a little more dense, but we'll see how far I get because I'd really like to start American Dirt tomorrow. Um, that would put me back on track for finishing eight books this month. And I'm kind of surprised that I'm gonna maybe hit that because I read Oathbringer this month, which was so chunky that I think it was like 1200 pages. So I'm pretty excited if I can manage to finish eight books this month with that and the, the mix, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna go get a snack and a tea and we'll read Music Nightmares. I am the worst and have not been reading Music Nightmares. I'm going to, I really am. I just got sucked down a really nasty internet hole and I don't understand how people have Twitter. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have Twitter. Um, yeah, I feel like Twitter is such a toxic place. Uh, if you're on Twitter, do you agree that some of the stuff you see is so 
toxic and mean. Oh my God, people could just be so mean. Um, yeah, glad I'm not on there. Don't need any of that in my life. So I got sucked down that stupid internet hole that I'm sure everyone can relate to. And luckily I'm now out of it. So the rest of the night should be good. And I'm going to go back to reading this awesome book and being positive because the internet is a dark, dark place. <laughs> okay, bye. I wanted to show you guys my setup for when I'm like cozy and reading. Um, here is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the lights off because it gives the full effect of the coziness. <laughs> So I've got so many different candles. I've got the fireplace candles. Here's it with the lights on so you can actually see. But I love the fireplace going with all my candles. It just makes me so happy. So I'm on page 304 and a revelation was just made in this book that really takes an unexpected turn. I'm like really curious where we're going with this book now. If you've read Muse of Nightmares, you might know the big reveal that I'm talking about that like comes out of absolutely nowhere and changes maybe everything. So, I'm, I'm confused now where this book is going. So I'm gonna keep reading and try to find out. Uh, it's past my bedtime, but you know that like pillowcase that says I read past my bedtime? Yeah, I need that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna probably fall asleep pretty soon, hopefully, and finish this tomorrow. But yeah, I wanted to update you because that unexpected turn was shocking. <laughs> okay, good night. Good morning. It's January 22nd. Just woke up and I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup so that I look like I have life. And then I'm going to make some breakfast and start reading. So Muse of Nightmares, I've got about 200 pages left, uh, so I'll definitely be finishing that today. I can definitely get through 200 pages today. And then I'm starting American Dirt, and I'm very excited. We'll see what happens from there, okay? Let's do this, day two. Woo. outside um, that roams around our cul-de-sac and every time my dog looks out the window and sees the cat she goes berserk so I'm comforting her from the poor kitty you know it's a hard life you know it's so hard it's so hard I have a hundred pages left about a hundred pages of Muse of Nightmares after listening to the audiobook all morning and gonna be honest, I'm just not crazy about it. There's so much that's introduced that's never talked about in the first book that I think just really complicates the whole story and is totally like making me so confused and just, I'm just not feeling it as much as I felt Strange the Dreamer. I am gonna finish it. Um, it's not that I dislike it, it's just not as good as Strange the Dreamer, and I just feel like, overall, I just wanted Strange the Dreamer to be its own book. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but that's all. I thought Strange the Dreamer was so great, and it could have just wrapped up so nicely on its own, and it, it didn't, and now we're getting so much that's introduced that just seems so last minute. I don't know. It's weird. So anyways, all right, I'm going to try to finish it and 
do some more work. I did it. I finished Muse of Nightmares and I thought that ending like the last hundred pages was great. Like it definitely did redeem some of the other qualities that I wasn't loving so much. So I'm going to think on my review for it before I give it a star rating um, because I want to let it settle first. But overall, I thought it was a really sweet ending and I like how it wrapped everything up and kind of connected all of these scattered dots. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I read it. And now we are moving into book number three of this readathon, which is American Dirt. And I don't have the audiobook for that one. So I might have to start a different audiobook. And my last book that I wanted to read this month was the follow up novel to The Giver which is called Gathering Blue, which I know doesn't follow the same characters from The Giver, um, but it's set in the same world and it follows new characters in that world with a new story, um, which is a little disappointing because I loved the characters in The Giver so much. So I was wanting to follow them more, but that's okay. Uh, I'm excited to get back into the world and see what other stories are out there in this giver world that I enjoy so much. So maybe I'll start the Gathering Blue audiobook as I finish up work for the day and take my dog to the dog park again. And once I get home and settled, I can start physically reading American Dirt. So so far, this readathon has been quite successful. I'm very happy with finishing up two books. So let's see how many more we can finish up. All right, keep y'all updated. Okay, so unfortunately, Gathering Blue is not available on Libby, which is my app that I use through my library to get audiobooks for free. So since that's the case, I started Gone Girl, the audiobook. I wasn't planning on reading that this month, but why not? Um, so I'm starting that audiobook, taking my dog to the dog park. Hi, Jamie. Hello. Yes. And we'll see how far I get. But once I get home, I'm going to start American Dirt for sure and see how far I can get into that tonight. So, see ya. So I'm only about 20 pages into American Dirt right now, but it really starts off with quite the introduction. Um, very hard hitting. So I want to keep going, but I'm a little burnt out on reading. This 48 hour readathon might have been a little much. Um, so I'm going to take a snack and just maybe enjoy a couple episodes of Schitt's Creek. I don't know if any of you guys watch that TV show. It's on Netflix right now. It is so funny. I love Schitt's Creek. Um, so I'm going to watch that and just take it easy. But I will be reading more of this tonight. I just need a little break from reading. I think I'm just a little burnt out. So hope that's understandable. I just watched four episodes of Schitt's Creek. And it just makes me so happy. You anyone else have that show that just like is your go-to when you need to be in a good mood yeah Shit's Creek right now is mine it's just such a feel-good show um and American Dirt I'm not gonna lie I don't know if I'm in the mood for like something so dark and sad at the moment I'll probably still read some of it tonight but I think I'm also going to try to start Gathering Blue as well because I just, it it's so heavy in the first like 20 pages that <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to get to some reading and some cleaning and I'll listen to Gone Girl while I'm cleaning and then I will start Gathering Blue tonight and see if I can finish it because it's really short um, and it's like a middle grade novel like The Giver is. So it should be like very quick and easy to read. And then if I still have time, like before I go to bed, I'll do more of American Dirt. Um, but yeah, so let's start a nice little cleaning montage here next. <music> Watch. 
watch this. I'm going to unlock my patio door and my dog is gonna come out of nowhere and run outside. So predictable. Yep, so predictable. <laughs> pages a little over 100 pages into gathering blue and it is very different than I expected it is not in the same world as the giver like maybe it's in the same world but it's not in the same like city setting that the giver was in this is like a very different story very different setting so it's different than what I expected I knew it was going to be different characters but I thought we would still be in that same setting um, that being said, I'm enjoying it. It's middle grade. So it's very fast paced, not a ton of development, gets right to the point. But for the audience it's written for, I like it so far. I'm curious to see where we're going with it because The Giver, why I loved it so much, I loved the message in it and how it told it in such a way that wasn't preachy so I'm curious to see like where we're going with this one and if this one's gonna have the same sort of like impactful message at the end what it's trying to say I can't quite figure it out yet so I'm curious to keep reading I'll probably finish it tonight because I just got through 100 pages in about an hour because it reads just so quick look how teeny it is um so I'll definitely finish this tonight and let you all know what I think morning everyone it is now officially the 48 hour mark and I did manage to finish gathering blue last night overall I thought it was missing a lot of the magic that the giver had where is that do I have makeup underneath my eye from that's nice that's just pleasant um yeah so I thought the the world was a little less like less developed and less creative than the one in The Giver that was in Gathering Blue, but I was still very intrigued by Gathering Blue. I read it super quickly. I thought the character of Kira and Matt were really great. Uh, I really liked their characters and it left off on a cliffhanger. And I read a review that said that, <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking on my own <coughs> spit. Um, I read a review that said the Giver Quartet, how it works is books one, two, and three are kind of their own standalone stories with their own separate characters and worlds. But then when you get to book four, it kind of wraps all of those three previous books together and brings everything in and um, gives you a, a conclusion to all of those stories. So hearing that made me feel a lot better about this book because it left off on such a big cliffhanger where I was like, if this is like the giver where we don't follow these characters anymore. This is not a complete story at all. So it made me feel better that we're going to get the rest of the story, hopefully in either the next book or the book after that. Um, and so I'm definitely going to continue on with the series because now I'm just curious. And so I rated it a three out of five stars. Thought it was good. I want to continue on, but it just lost a lot of that magic for me that The Giver had. I thought The Giver was much more powerful. Overall thoughts about the 48 hour readathon? Um, I cannot read for that long 
just straight reading without doing anything else. Uh, it's just too much, too much. It's like, I don't want to burn myself out and make reading a chore. And by the end of it, it started to feel a little bit like a chore. So now I'm glad to just be complete with the readathon and be able to go back to just reading at my own pace, at my own leisure, um, and sprinkle in a couple other activities here and there. Like, I don't want to feel guilty about watching an episode of TV or, you know, taking a break to go do something with friends or whatever it is. So overall, thought it was fun, but I'll probably do just a 24 hour read. Hello! <laughs> Hi! I'll probably do a 24 hour readathon next time instead of 48 hours. But overall, I'm really happy because I did manage to finish three books in this time, which is awesome. So back on track with my reading goal and overall happy with this. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope that this was at least semi-interesting. Let me know what you want to see more of in the future if you like vlogs. Um, I typically don't watch them, like I said before, um, just because they're not my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. I, I like the other like sit down types of videos um, where people just talk about, you know, lists of books or ranking or whatever. So tell me what you like about reading vlogs, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, because I want to make the content that you guys want to watch and that's fun for me to make, but also that you want to watch and see. So definitely leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching this. If you made it to the end, woo, good for you. <laughs> Thanks for coming on this journey with me and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh.